Hopefully um, you're doing well. We're gonna do a little Pilates this morning. Um, my body needs this stretch and core work today. <coughs> All right, shake it out. Oh, we still, yeah, we've got. Shake those legs. With this Thursday Pilates, we have the least number of live people, but we have the most, or I don't know about the most, but we have so many more people looking at it the rest of the day and the rest of the week. So people like it, they just apparently don't want to do it as much on Thursday live, but that's all right. We, we do. We do. Um, I can't really tell though. It seems like on my Instagram live, like a hundred and something people are watching them later on. Um, but I think it's just looky loos that are popping in and then popping out. I don't think a hundred people are doing the whole thing. I wish it told me how many people did the whole thing. All right, we're gonna warm up today on the floor. Weird, I know I never do that, but we're gonna start seated. Um, uh, let me just go ahead and take the comments off because we're gonna start on the floor. All right. Um, I had so many comments after last Thursday's class, I think it was, about the playlist. And people who have done the Pilates class during the week commenting on it. But it's a Spotify playlist that I can send to you if you do that. But it's called Pop, Piano, Cello, Violin. So it's like pop music play classically. All right, we're gonna sit up tall, bend those knees. Hands on your knees, nice and tall, on top of your sits bones, right? Really tall, take a deep breath in, and then blow it out and round forward. Inhale, tall, and then exhale. Inhale, tall, exhale, round forward. Again, up, and exhale, round forward. Inhale, nice and tall, and then exhale those arms down to your side. I'm gonna tuck and roll it all the way to the floor, actually back on just onto your elbows. Onto your elbows, but remember, try to not roll your elbows, uh, shoulders forward. Press them back, come on up. Lower back is even off the floor, right? We don't want to tuck in like we're watching TV. We want to come up nice and tall, open your back. There you go. Now our knees are bent. We're gonna take one knee and drop it out to the side. Slide it long and bring it back in. Same leg, drops out to the side, slides long and brings it back in. So a hip rotation, opening up our hip. Releasing through your hip. One more. And then reverse it. Take that same leg out straight to the side and bring it back in. Bring it out to the side. Straighten it out. When you bring it out to the side, turn your knee out. One more. And tall. Same thing with the other side. Drop it, extend it, and bring it in. Can you see that? Drop it, extend it, and bring it in. Just opening through your hip, trying to get that movement from your core. One more like this. And then now let's reverse it. Straighten it out. Take it out to the side and back. Straighten it out, out to the side. One more time. Nice job. Rolling it all the way down to the floor. 
feet are into the floor. We're gonna press up through your hips, raising those arms up, pausing here, and then lowering it down. Inhaling. And exhaling. Again, inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Nice job. Hug your knees in and just rock side to side. And then placing those knees out at tabletop. Point your toes. Hands are down to your side. Maybe out about 45 degrees. I'm going to drop your knees to one side, straight now, bend them, and bring them back center. Drop them the other way, kick, bend, and center. Inhaling through center, exhaling out at the sides. Let's do that one more time each way. Extend your legs long and roll all the way over. We're going to press it up and take it back into child's pose. Before you do though, walk those knees out a step. The knees are wide. Toes are together. Sit your hips back. Crawl your fingers forward. Rest your forehead on the mat. holding it here. Let's take our hands and walk them over to the left, pressing our hips right. And then walk your hands through center, over to the right, pressing your hips left. And then come center again, child's pose. Inhaling up, walk your knees out just a little bit wider, exhaling back down. This time, lift your chin up, drop your chest lower. And come all the way back up, walking your knees back towards each other, keeping your hands out far. Tuck your toes and lift your hips, press them back there. Pedal your feet. Sending your heels back toward the floor. All right, let's shift forward into full plank. Remember, that's a good way to gauge how far apart your hands and feet should be in down dog. We're in full plank, and then we just lift our hips and press our heels toward the floor. Again, pedaling. Sending both heels toward the floor, maybe hips right and left. Center them up. Take your right leg lifted high and lower it down. Left leg lifted high and lower it down. Now right leg lifts up high we're gonna open your hip and drop your heel behind you. Hips are almost stacked on top of each other, looking up underneath your arm. And then extend that leg and roll it down, bring it to the floor. Same thing with the other side. Lift your left, open your hips, drop it down. And 
extend it, rotate, make it down, go down, down, nice job. All right, let's wave into our plank. So we're gonna come up in our heels, lift your lower back, mid back, upper back, plank. Hold that plank. Now to reverse it, we're gonna start at our shoulders, lifting up, mid back, lower back, hips, and then press our heels down. Rolling again into plank, heels, hips, back, plank, and then mid back, up, and hold. Nice job, pedaling it out. And then walking your feet forward into forward fold. Let's move our right hand into the center. Open your left arm up to the ceiling. Left hand comes in the center, the right arm opens. Bring them both down. Relax your head and neck. Bend your knees and then round all the way up. Shoulders back, head up. Nice job. Big breath. Exhale. One more. And exhale. Shake it out. We're going to do a little standing work. Balance and core strength. I want you to, we're going to start to the side. You're going to take your right toes back, right arm up. Pitch forward just a little bit on the diagonal there from fingers down to heel. A little tiny bend in that supporting knee. We're going to crunch in knee, open up, and then straight lift with that leg back there. Toe taps between, but don't come on down onto your foot. Just there as a kickstand. Micro bend in that left knee. We crunch and then lift, crunch, and lift. Use your core, crunch, and lift. Nice job. One more time. Hold it up right here. And take it down. Good job. Rotate the ankle that you sit on. We're going to work the other leg. I'm going to just turn around just so it's easier for you to see. So this time it's left toes back, left arm up. Pitch forward just a little bit. That kickstand is there. Micro bend in your right knee. Crunch and lift. It helps if you have a spot out in front of you you can stare at that's not moving. Helps keep your balance. time. Hold that lift right here, nice and strong. And bring it down. Good job. Shake it out. Big breath. All right, let's take left fingers, or these fingers over here, on your ear. Actually, both of them. Toes out wide. We're going to abduct and crunch to the side. Again, the less weight you put on that toe, right, the more balance work. Micro bend in this knee. Crunch. Good 
Two more. One more. Nice job. Rotate your body weight towards the other side. Toes go out. Nice and tall and crunch. Whoops. Lost my balance. Micro bed. One more. Nice job. Shake them out. Reach up. Exhale right back. Now we're going to do a standing bicycle. Shoulder, elbows back. So shoulder leads to knee. Same leg. To knee. Two more. job. Shift your body weight. Same thing to the other side. One more. All right, inhale up. One more standing. We're going to add those two together. So, we're going to take it this side first, abduct, bicycle, same side, abduct, bicycle. Three more. Two, and one. Up, and down. Same thing, other side. Lift, crunch. One more set. Nice job. A little arm work out there too, huh? Roll them back and forward. Take one across, shoulders low. And the other. And shake it out. All right, deep breath up and in. And swan dive, forward fold. Relax your head and neck, let your body hang. Maybe grab opposite elbows. Just let your upper body hang. Micro bend in that knee, or big, whichever you need. You just don't want to lock them out. And then rotate side to side. Center it up, drop those hands down. Walk your hands forward. Walk your feet back down, dog. Let's shift forward, full plank, hold full plank. Let's take your right knee to your left wrist. Kick it out long. Take it center. Kick it out long. And then take it to your right elbow. Kick it out long and drop it down. Left knee to right wrist, kick it out. Left knee center, kick it out. Left knee to left elbow, kick it out and drop it down. Lift your hips, press back. And come on back in, let's do that one more time. Right knee, cross, kick it out. Center, kick it out. Up high, same elbow. Kick it out, hold here. And drop it down. Left lifts across. Center. 
up wide. Hold it out. Drop it down, lift your hips, press back. Shift forward, take one knee to the floor, drop your hip to the floor, have a seat. All right, I want you to have a seat with your feet about six inches outside your mat, right? Not terribly wide, nice and tall. Big breath, and exhale. Deep breath in, and exhale over right here, nice and tall. We're gonna rotate tall, then lean down like we're sawing our little toe off with our pinky. Three, two, one. Come up in that twist, then rotate. Twist again, and then saw. Come up in that twist, inhaling, and exhaling. Inhaling, and exhaling. Inhale, and one more time. center. Nice job. Drop it down. Slide those feet together. Shake it out. Feet are together. Bend them up and then roll them all the way down. Slow and controlled. Place your feet on the mat. Tuck your hips and press up into a bridge. Now while we're here, let's just take a, a minute to remember that your knees need to stay out, right? They can't fall open, they can't collapse in. They need to stay straight out from your hips. Hips are high. And try pressing into those feet, really get those hamstrings involved. Now tuck and roll it back down. Again, roll it up. And tuck and roll down. Let's walk our feet together. Knees come together, same thing, tuck and press up, squeezing our inner thighs together, and then roll it down. Again, press up. This time we're holding it here. Hold those hips up high. Take your right leg straight up. Flex your foot. Take it down to your knee, point your toe, and bring it up. Flex it down, point it up. Flex it down, point it up. Two more. Flex, point, flex, point. Hold it up here. Point your toe. Lower all the way down. And then hug both knees in. Bring it back down. Walking your feet together. Knees are together. Press it up. Squeeze your inner thighs. Lower it down. And press it up. Hold it up right here. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Take your left leg this time up high. Hips are high. Flex your foot, lower it to your knee. Point your toe, bring it up. Flex, point, flex, point, flex, point. You got it, whoo, three. Two and one. Hold it up here, point your toe, keep it high, and then slowly lower down and hug it in. Rock side to side. Good 
Beautiful, beautiful. Whew. Arms up overhead, take a deep breath. Exhale, work those arms and your shoulders and head to one side. Inhale, center. And then exhale the other way. And inhale, center. All right, let's make our legs long. We're gonna roll up just once. We're gonna stay up there. So arms reaching up toward the ceiling. We're gonna do a couple of roll up preps first. So we're not going all the way up first. We're gonna inhale here. Exhale, chin rolls up, chest, mid back. And then come all the way down. Inhaling. And exhaling. Inhale. And exhale. All right, inhaling here. This time we're going all the way up. Exhaling, chin to chest. And then reach forward, stretch. Nice job, going up. Bend your knees. I'm gonna roll halfway down. Halfway and hold. Hold. So this is not easy, right? We've got that core strength going. Arms out front, shoulders nice and low. Let's bring both arms up overhead. Out to a T. And then to the front. Overhead. Out to a T. And then front. One more time. Hold right here. Maybe a little lower. Hold, hold, hold. A little lower. One more inch. And slowly let it all the way down. Again, nice job. Rock back and forth from side to side. Tabletop those legs. Arms come up. Head and shoulders up. Right arm, left leg opens. And then switch. We're stopping at the center for a second. And then reach. Reach. Two more, reach, and reach. Nice job, lower it down. Look to the right and to the left. Legs are still up there, knees over hips, reaching your hands out, crunch up and down. Crunch and down. Now hold it up right here. Hold up four, three, two, one. Take it down. Again, hold it up four, three, two. Take it down. One more time. Hold it up four, three, two, one. Take it down. Hug your knees in. Rock side to side. bring those knees back to tabletop. So this net, uh, 90 degree bend we have in our knee is not gonna change at all. 
We're gonna keep it 90 degrees and we're gonna drop one heel toward the floor and then lift it. I said toward the floor, right? So we don't wanna come all the way down. If your heel touches, that's okay. Just don't dump weight into it. Lower. Hold it up. Now let's take both heels and lift. Three more. Two. side to side. Nice job. Bring those legs straight up. Heels together, feet slightly apart, like a little Pilates V. It's called the Pilates V. So we're going to zip together our calves, our knees, our inner thighs, everything comes together. Pilates V with those legs. Sew it all up, right? Nice and tight, squeeze together. Now open, maybe halfway, and then squeeze it up. Open up, and squeeze. One more. Now keeping your heels together, we're gonna drop your heels to your bottom, knees go apart, like little frog legs out there, and press up. Go here, right, and press. Heels toward your bottom, and then squeeze your inner thighs. Let's hug your knees in and rock side to side. We're gonna do, take our legs back up there. We're gonna do one of each. We're gonna open up. Squeeze those straight legs together and then come down in our frog leg and press up, squeezing. Each time you come straight back to the center, you squeeze tight. Pilates V, open, squeeze. Frog legs, squeeze, open. Two more sets. And one more. Hug it in, rock side to side. I love it. Take your hands, reach inside, grab your ankles, press your elbows out to your knees so that they stretch out, getting those inner thighs. And drop your feet. Knees to one side, and then the other, and come on up. All right, let's bring our head and shoulders up. Bring your right knee in, extend your left leg long. Maybe up here a little bit. Now we're not yanking in it, right? It's just barely touching. And then we're gonna switch. Switch. Head and shoulders, I mean, fingertips behind your ears. And bicycle, shoulder to opposite knee. Hug 
it in, head and shoulders down. Big breath, reach long. Exhale, hands down to your side. Hug your knees back in. We're going to do something pretty similar, but we're going to do double leg stretch this time. So, or straight leg, straight leg stretch. Let's take both those legs up. Head and shoulders are up off the floor. We're going to lower it down about halfway. As soon as you're, actually, let's take our head and shoulders back down to the floor. As soon as your lower back starts popping up, that's the spot that you need to stop, right? So that could be here, and it could be here. It's up to you. So we're gonna lower down nice and slow, Pilates B going on here, slow, and then bring it back up. Slow, and bring it back up. Inhale, down three, two, one, exhale, up. three, two, one, exhale up, nice job, three, two, one, and up, one more time, three, two, one, exhale up, nice job, now head and shoulders come up, fingers behind your head, and we're going to take one down at a time, and up, and then the other. Let's change this to a scissor. So as this leg comes up, the other one's going down. Adding in that bicycle. Elbows wide, shoulders lead. Four, three, two, one. Hug it in, head and shoulders down. Whew. Inhale and exhale. Keeping your hands at your knees, the upper body comes up. Light grip here. Take your arms now and extend them back behind you. And then swoop them around. One more time, just arms. Reach them back there, swoop them around. Now we're gonna add our legs in. We're opening and swooping. Open and swoop. Inhale and exhale. And And Three more, two, one more, and hold it up here, lift your hips, lift your shoulders, crunch in that little ball for four, three, two, one, release it down, drop your head to the floor, drop your feet to the floor, knees go side to side. each other, extend one leg, flex your foot and pull it in. Rotate your ankle around, switch directions, flex, and release down. Other side comes up, flex it, pull it in, rotate your ankle around, switch directions, Flex it and pull it in a little closer. And release it down. Let's take that leg that's closest to me, extend it, roll onto your side, and then roll all the way over, pressing it up onto hands and knees. We're gonna tuck our toes, lift our hips into down dog, pushing your shoulders and chest back, and then walking your hands back. Bend your knees around it all the way up. Good job. 
All right, we're gonna step back into a, um, we're gonna start with chair pose. Take a deep breath up and in. And then exhale, sit your hips back like you're sitting in a chair. Chair pose. Biceps are right by your ears, hips are back there, knees are back behind your toes. You don't wanna jet them out there, right? It's sitting in a chair. Drop those arms, inhale up. And then exhale back in a chair. One more time, inhale up, and exhale, chair. From this chair pose, I want you to step your right leg back. We're in a crescent lunge. I want you to take your body back up tall. Toes are forward, right? Bending that front knee, see how it's over my ankle? Pressing back here. Arms are up tall. I'm gonna come up onto my back toes. Tuck my hips, push them forward, and then lower down almost to the floor, just holding right here. Come on up and press your heel back. Palms together, hands right at heart center. Rotate over that front leg, twist. Come back, reach up. Up on your back toes again, tuck your hips, lower down almost to the floor, hold right here. We're stretching, we're strengthening, and we're balancing. So good. Come on up and press back. Step forward. Shake it all out. Deep breath. And exhale back into your chair. This time, left leg steps backwards. Take your body up nice and tall. Crescent lunge. Toes are forward, knees are forward. Um, knees over your ankle. Let's scooch here. All right, come up onto your back toes. Take your hips, tuck them, push them forward, and then lower down almost to the floor. Hold right here, balancing it here. Remember when you're balancing, it helps if you stare at a spot on the floor that's not moving. Now come up and press back. Palms are together, still in our crescent lunge. Right at heart center and then rotate over that front knee. Twist. And come center, arms back up. Another balance move up on those toes. Hips push, lower, right here, nice and strong. Come on up, press back, and step forward. Press down, good job. Deep breath. And exhale. Let's take a little bit wider stance. Rotate our body, grab your uh, opposite hip. Grab your opposite hip. And then keep your hips forward, but try to twist your body looking back. And then the other way, twist. And come center, fists on your lower back. So let's bring our feet a little bit closer together, knees are soft, fists on your lower back, roll your shoulders back, push your hips forward, look up at the ceiling. Hands on the front of your thighs, slide them down, slide your hips back, round up. Flat back, round it up. One more time, flat back, round up. Take your shoulders back, wide stance, arm comes up and over, stretch. Bring it back. Turn your toes out, bend your knees, take a deep breath up. Exhale. One more time. And exhale down. Toe heel it together. So good. Love it. Ah, that was great. You guys were awesome.
Thanks for joining me. Um, I'll see you tomorrow morning. I got a treat for you tomorrow morning. It's not hard, I promise. It's a fun treat. Fun treat. Um, so I'll see you tomorrow and have a great day. Uh, DM me if you have any special requests.